Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Sing Along Jam. My name is Miss Ashley. I'm a librarian with the San Mateo County Libraries. If you've been to the Pacifica Libraries, you may have seen me there. Uh, we're going to do lots of singing and dancing and uh, lots of other fun activities today. So if you could take a few minutes to gather up some supplies, unless you already have them, you may have been with me before, because we usually ask for the same supplies. Uh, first thing, of course, is some kind of a cloth to be um, our scarf for our scarf songs. So it can be just about anything, any kind of cloth. It could be a sock as long as it's clean or a blankie or even something, something paper like paper towel or a tissue, anything that's easy to crumple up and throw in the air like, or roll in your hands. So we'll get to that in just a little bit. And also something to make noise with, which can be just about anything in your house. We're gonna do a play along at the end where we play along with some songs. So uh, if you have a box you can use, you can bang on, that could be a drum or paper cups make an excellent drum or even kind of a cymbals. If you have a toy or something that rattles, this is one of those um, nesting dolls. It makes a rattling noise. It's very fun because it's got all these little bears inside, the big bear, but it also makes a rattle. Anything you have in your house that can make noise. And we will get to that at the end. Right now it's time for our first song, which as usual is we bounce and we bounce and we stop. Are you ready? Let's see if we can get all the stops exactly right. See if you can follow me. We bounce and we bounce and we stop. Did you get that stop? We bounce and we bounce and we stop. We bounce and 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 we, bounce and we, bounce and we, bounce and we stop. Great job. Let's try it again. We bounce and we bounce and we stop. We bounce and we bounce and we stop. We bounce and 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 we stop. Sometimes I like to pause in between bounces, trip you up. Are you able to keep up? Now can you clap? I'm gonna keep playing. Now can you clap along with me? We clap and we clap and we stop. We clap and we clap and we stop. We clap and we clap and we clap and we clap and we clap. Ooh, I'm going to do a tricky one that I'm going to have a hard time demonstrating. You won't be able to see me, but can you stand on one foot? We stand on one foot and we stop. Don't fall down. We stand on one foot and we stop. We stand on one foot and we stand on one foot and we stand on one foot and we stop. Whoa. And now let's turn. We turn and we turn and we stop. We turn and we turn and we stop. We turn and we turn and we turn and we turn. And now it's tickle yourself or your grown up or your stuffed animal, something nearby. We tickle, we tickle, we stop. We tickle, we tickle, we stop. We tickle, we tickle, we tickle, we tickle, we tickle, we tickle, we stop. And now let's hug yourself or your grown up or your brother, sister, your dog. We hug, we hug, we stop. We hug, we hug, we stop. We hug, we hug, we hug. We hug, we hug, we stop. And now let's bounce one more time really fast. We bounce, we bounce, we stop. We bounce, we bounce, we stop. We bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we stop. Great job. Well, my first story of the day has to do with animals dancing. So I thought we'd start out with another dancing song. This is a really fun song by Eric Herman called Dance Like You Had ants in your pants. How would you dance if you had ants in your pants? I think you'd kind of <laughs> wiggle a lot. That would be very uncomfortable. And then we're gonna stop and spray some ant spray that's so stinky the ants are gonna go pee you and run away. And then we'll do some other animals. You ready? You ready to dance like you have ants in your pants? Dance like you got ants in your pants. Dance like you got ants in your pants. Dance like you got ants in your pants. And stop. Spray some ant spray. Here we go. Shh. And the ants go, pee you, run away. And they run away. All right, now we're going to dance like we have bees on our knees. So we're going to pick our knees up really high, like this. <laughs> See if you can pick your knees up really high. Dance like you've got bees on your knees. Dance like you've got bees on your knees. Dance like you've got bees on your knees. Don't stop. 
spray some bee spray. And the bees say, Pew, that's stinky. And they fly away. Off they go. Now we're going to dance like we have a bear in our hair. I can demonstrate. I happen to have a bear here in my hair. There we go. Ready? Dance like you've got a bear in your hair. You take your <laughs> dance like you've got a bear in your hair. Dance like you've got a bear in your hair. Now stop and spray some bear spray. Shh. And the bear says, Ew, that's so stinky. And he runs away. <laughs> there we go. Dance, dance, dance until you drop. Hula, hula, hula until you can drool up. Are we going to jump? Hey, we got bumped on the rump on your backside. Here we go. Jump like you got bumped on your rump. Jump like you got bumped on your rump. Jump like you got bumped on your rump. Like you Stop. Dance any way you want to. Dance anyhow. Dance any night or day. Keep on dancing now. Dance any way you want to. Dance any way you can. Dance like you got ants in your pants again. Dance like you got ants in your pants. Dance like you got ants in your pants. Dance like you got knees on your knees. Dance like you got knees on your knees. Dance like you got bear in your hair. Dance like you got a bear in your hair. Jump like you got bumped on the rock. Jump like you got bumped on the rock. Dance, dance, dance until you drop. Dance, dance, dance. Don't ever. I said, don't ever stop. But that's okay. We have a book to read. And it's also about dancing animals. And it is from one of our ebook collections called Access 360 on smcl.org. You can get two with your library card. This one is called Dancing Feet. You got your dancing feet. This is by Lindsay Craig and illustrated. That means. The pictures were done by Mark Brown. This is published by Alfred A. Knopf. Got your dancing feet ready? Here we go. There's our elephant. See our little ladybug? Can you make a ladybug with your fingers? So we're gonna make our ladybug dance. You can dance off your arm. It's tickly. Tippity, tippity, little back feet. Who is dancing the tippity beat? Ladybugs are dancing on tippity feet. Tippity, tippity, happy feet. Now we're going to be elephants. Can you be an elephant and stomp? Here we go. You can even make a trunk. Wave it in the air. Stompity, stompity, big gray feet. Who is dancing the stompity beat? Elephant is dancing on stompity feet. Stompity, stompity, happy feet. Oh, what do you think these are? I think these might be duck feet. Can you make a duck feet so you kind of put your feet in a demonstrate with my bear? So if I, my bear will demonstrate, you put your, your backs or your feet kind of close together and waddle. Here we go. Slappity, slappity, webbed orange feet. Who is dancing that slappity beat? Ducks are dancing on slappity feet. Slappity, slappity, happy feet. What do you think this next animal is? I think this might be a caterpillar. And he would crawl up your arm too. He's got lots of feet. Creepity, creepity, lots of purple feet. Who is dancing the creepity beat? Caterpillars dancing on creepity feet. Creepity, creepity, happy feet. Now, what do you think these little furry feet are? I think we have one of these. And it's a bear, just like this bear. Can you thump like a bear? Thumpity, thumpity, furry brown feet. Who is dancing the thumpity beat? Bear is dancing on thumpity feet. 
Thumpity, thumpity, happy feet. Now this animal right here, what do you think that is? Do you have a guess? Let's see if you're right. Oh, look, it's a lizard. I have a lizard here. I'm going to get my lizard. I don't know, I'm in a very tiny little window, but here's my lizard. Click any of you, lizard. She lizard walks kind of softly. Clickety, clickety, long green feet. Who is dancing the clickety beat? Lizard is dancing on clickety feet. Clickety, clickety, happy feet. Now can you stamp? Stampity, stampity, here our feet. Who is dancing the stampity beat? We are dancing on stampity feet. Stampity, stampity, happy feet. Creepity, tippity, thumpity, slappity. Can you be a duck? Quack, quack, quack. Stompity, clickity, stampity. Happy, happy dancing feet. That's a fun book. And here's my dragon, my bearded dragon. She's a kind of a lizard. I've showed her before. She's very sweet. There she is. You can see her little clickety feet. She's got long nails that go clickety clickety when she walks. And she's looking all around, you see. Now she's moving her head and her eyes. Her name is Komodo. She's my son's bearded dragon. He calls her Komodo because a Komodo dragon is a really, really big lizard that's actually kind of poisonous. Uh, and he used to get the name mixed up. But bearded dragon is very sweet and this and Komodo would never bite. But a Komodo dragon is a very different animal altogether. <laughs> okay, well, it's time for our scarf song. So, can you gather up your scarf or whatever kind of cloth you found? I'm going to put Komodo back down. Say bye bye, Komodo. I'll hold her up to the camera one more time for you. There she is. Isn't she, sweetie? Okay. Okay, this song is by Ella Jenkins. It's called You Sing a Song and I'll Sing a Song and we'll sing a song together. So let's start by waving our scarves this way. Here we go. You sing a song and I'll sing a song and we'll sing a song together. You sing a song and I'll sing a song in warm or wintry weather. Can you wear your scarf on your head? Or if you don't want to put it on your head, you can put it around your neck like that. You wear a scarf and I'll wear a scarf and we'll wear a scarf together. You wear a scarf and I'll wear a scarf in warm or wintry weather. Can you put it kind of over your eyes and we'll go peekaboo. You peekaboo, peekaboo, and I'll peekaboo, peekaboo. And we'll peekaboo together. Peekaboo, you peekaboo, peekaboo, and I'll peekaboo, peekaboo, in warm or wintry weather. Can you blow your scarf? <gasps> Depending on how what kind of cloth you have, it may or may not move very much. Here we go. You blow a scarf, and I'll blow a scarf, and we'll blow our scarves together. You blow a scarf. And I'll blow a scarf in warm or wintry weather. Now my favorite one, let's throw them. You throw a scarf and I'll throw a scarf and we'll throw our scarves together. You throw a scarf and I'll throw a scarf in warm or wintry weather. Let's do that one more time. You throw a scarf and I'll throw a scarf and we'll throw our scarves together. You throw a scarf, and I'll throw a scarf in warm or wintry weather. Great job. You can think up your own things to do with your scarf.
Or you don't even have to use a scarf for that song. You can just sing it with other motions, like you jump up and down and I'll jump up and down or you spin around, whatever you wanna do. These songs are all yours to take home and add to and change however you like. So sing them with your family. See how many they know and what, song, what verses they can come up with. Okay, for next we're gonna bundle up our scarf or a cloth into a, something like this. You can roll it, or you can even just kind of bunch it up so it makes a long, thin thing. This is our green zucchini song. Have you seen a zucchini before? This is a long green squash, and I, I like to eat it in the summertime. They're just coming in season. So this one goes like this. Green zucchini, I like green zucchini. Green zucchini is what I like the best. Do you like it on your head? Yes, I like it on my head, on my head, on my head. Oh, green zucchini, I like green zucchini. Green zucchini is what I like the best. Do you like it on your shoulder? Yes, I like it on my shoulder, on my shoulder, on my shoulder on my head, on my head. Oh, green zucchini, I like green zucchini. Green zucchini is what I like the best. Do you like it on your knee? Yes, I like it on my knee, on my knee, on my knee, on my shoulder, on my shoulder, on my head, on my head. Oh, green zucchini, I like green zucchini. Green zucchini is what I like the best. Do you like it on your toe? This is tricky for me. Yes, I like it on my toe, on your toe, on my toe, on my knee, on my knee, on my shoulder, on my shoulder, on my head, on my head. Oh, oh. green zucchini, I like green zucchini. Green zucchini's what I like the best. Yay! You can make that song your own too. You can put it on your nose. You can put it on your ear. You can put it on your belly button. You can sing about other foods you like. You can make silly foods like purple bananas uh, or red and white cucumbers, whatever foods you like to eat or would like to imagine eating or putting on your head. Okay, it's time for our last book, which I love because it is called Not a Stick. This is by Antoinette Portis. And this is a book about imagination. Things you can imagine with different things you find around on the ground or in your house. So this is not a stick. Um, and this is published by HarperCollins. This is also from Access360 on smcl.org. Not a stick. See that stick there? There's a pig. Oh, looks like he's going to take that stick off the tree. Hey, be careful with that stick. See the pig with the stick? You could hold your scarf as if it were a stick and pretend along with the pig. It's not a stick. Look, she's imagining it's a fishing rod for catching that giant shark right there. Let's see, if you take your scarf, can you pretend it's a fishing rod? Oh, let's pull that scarf, that shark out of the water. Whoa, I think we caught it. Great job, let's see. Look where you're going with that stick. Let's see, she's got her stick. What stick? Now she's in a marching band. This is her baton. Can you wave it up and down and march in your parade? Watch where you point that stick. Hmm, what's she gonna do this time? This is not a stick. Oh, look, it's a paintbrush. She's made this beautiful painting that looks like Starry Night by Vincent Van Gogh. You can pretend it's a paintbrush. Can you paint with your scarf? Excellent. Now what are you doing with that stick? Hmm, it's like she's holding it like this, like we were holding our scarf for the green zucchini song. It's not a stick. Look, it looks like this is a big barbell for weightlifting. Can you pretend it's very, very heavy? Oh, 
Oh, it's so heavy. Don't trip on that stick. Hmm, what do you think it is now? She's kind of writing it. I'm telling you, it's not a stick. Look, now she's pretending the stick is a horse. Can you ride your scarf like you're riding a horse? So, still standing around with that stick? Hmm. This is not, not, not a stick. Oh, look, now she's a fierce warrior and this is a spear. Hmm. Looks like there's some creepy things behind her. She might need that. Okay, then what is it? Oh, look, she's holding it out. What do you think it is? <gasps> there's a dragon. Oh, she's holding out her sword. It's a sword. Da, 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 da. But look, she tamed the dragon and put it on a leash. And she says, it's my not a stick. And that is not a stick by Antoinette Portis. I'm glad that dragon turned out to be friendly. A lot like our dragon, our bearded dragon Komodo. <laughs> Too sweet. Okay, well, it's time for our instrument play along. So find whatever you had around the house to make noise with. We're gonna do a song about a magic wand. So kind of like go along with our stick book. She didn't turn her stick into a magic wand, but we'll talk about how you can do that in just a minute. And if you don't have your instruments, you could wave your scarf around like a magic wand for this song. I'm gonna put Komodo back down. <laughs> Sorry, there you go. This is a song I wrote called Abracadabra. So we can make a magic wand. And you can play along at home with your instruments. Here we go. One day I found a magic wand floating in the stream. I waved it at my dinner plate. And with peat beets became ice cream. I said Abracadabra. Activity you can do at home. So since we read Not a Stick and we talked about magic wands, uh, if you can find a fun stick outside uh, lying around on the ground, you can make a magic wand out of it. And there's lots of ways to do that with things you have around the house. So if you can find some colorful yarn or ribbon or string, you might need your grown-ups help if you want to tie it, but you can just wrap it around like so. You could wrap it all the way to the top of your stick. Or you could leave a little bit hanging down like that. I have another piece of yarn I can add on to that. And then just to make it really colorful, I might add a flower onto the end and wrap my yarn around it like that. And then if you have some beads, you can add some beads onto your stick. You can make it yours in so many ways. You can tie some feathers on there if you have feathers. So this can be your magic wand. I didn't tie it on, but if you had a 
might need a grown-up's help to secure this. You could even use some tape. If you have tape, you can tape your string on there and your flower, whatever else you want to put on there. Just make it yours. This is all up to your imagination and the things you have around the house to make a magic wand. You can even use this as a paintbrush like the pig did in the story. You could dip this into some paint and paint a picture with it. And I bet it'd be really neat. All right, it's time for our last song, which is called Freight Train. Everybody get up your instruments again. Here we go. And this song is by Elizabeth Cotton, and the version we sing is by Elizabeth Mitchell. Freight Train, Freight Train, running so fast. Freight Train, Freight Train, running so fast. Please don't tell what a train I'm on. for joining me today. That's all the time we have. I'll give Komodo up to say goodbye one more time. We are starting our summer learning program right now, so you can sign up for that at summerlearners.org, and there's a chance to win a thousand dollar college scholarship, so make sure you check that out, as well as our upcoming science programs on smcl.org. I'll see you next time. Thank you for joining me. Goodbye. <laughs>